Hello, and uh, welcome back to uh, Back Off Man with Scientists Build Nectar One. It's a bit of a weird one today. You'll notice that I am boyless. Um, I don't have a tag team partner with me, and there's a reason for that. Um, we've had shenanigans going on with the Ecto, so we've not actually built it since May of this year. It's currently September. Um, and there's a reason for that, which I'll explain. Um, but what we're doing today is repairing Ecto-1. And the reason why is because our cat, Ecto, got into the room where we build this and pretty much destroyed Ecto. Um, it, I'll show you the damage that he's done. But he chewed through the wires, so the lights don't work anymore. Chewed through those. Uh, he um, has scratched the bonnet, or the hood, if you will. So we've got to replace that, because we don't want a scratched hood. Um, and he also managed to break the windshield with his fat ass. So when we caught him in here, he was sat on the car. Um, and his ass has shattered the windscreen. <laughs> So we've got to replace that. Now, fortunately, because this thing is still in its run, um, getting replacement parts wasn't that hard. It was um, it was one uh, one email to Eagle Moss. We were able to get replacement parts. We had to pay for them, but we got replacement parts, and that's all we care about. So the kids ain't really interested in fixing. If it's something new, they're all over it. If it's repairing something broke, they're not interested. <laughs> So um, so that's what we've got going on. So today it's just a repair just and just a bit of an update as to where we are. Um, the reason for the delay, we got up to part 90 um, in May and then stopped, stopped dead. But we have still been receiving the parts. So we've actually received up to 106, I believe. I think I'm wrong. I think it's 102. 102. Uh, we're due to receive 103 to 106 in the next day or so. Um, and that's what we've got. Uh, but I'll show you why the delays happen. So it's all down to this. And this is part 91. So part 91 was the driver's door. Uh, it came with decal and, you know, fine. But what it came with uh, was a wing mirror. It's a wing mirror attachment. And there's a slot there where you put the wing mirror in. And then they realised that the door doesn't have a wing mirror. So there is no, there's no wing mirror on the on the car, um, on the driver's side door. So they said they replace it. Um, now I'm not that bothered. I would I would have feared this to be honest with you. I would have been fine with the wing mirror. It's not a big deal. But um, I know people would lose their minds over accuracy. So so they agreed to replace the door. Now the door was supposed to arrive, I think, in 107 issue 107. So it was like 17 issues, uh, 17 parts, if you will. Um, until the door turns up. Now we can't really do much without that door, but we have been amassing parts. So by the time the door replacement technology turns up, we will have 20 parts, basically four or five months worth of, um, of parts to build in one hit. When that happens, the actual frame of the car will be pretty much complete. It will just be the one tail fin to go on and the, the rear bumper, and then the frame of the car is pretty much done. Um, so it will fly up and I've got to be honest I'm kind of looking forward to doing 20 in one go but um, another thing happens <laughs> which is there is a community of builders for these and I'll be honest with you most of them really nice people um, and friendly and help each other out and give each other advice and it's great but sticker gate became a thing um, and what that is is again it's based on this so you get a decal it's a very it's a nice decal, it's a vinyl decal that applies to the door. Now, it is difficult because you need to know exactly where to put it, otherwise you're going to bugger it up. Because um, once it's on, it's on. Uh, I was kind of fine with this. But in the original advertising of the model, it said there were no there were no fiddly stickers or decals to apply. So everyone thought that the logos were painted onto the door. Now, they weren't painted onto the door in the movie. Um, they were a decal. So a decal for the model kind of stands to make sense. Uh, but people lost their minds. Kicked off, started screaming, threw their toys at the pram that they wanted the decals applied to the door. So the company agreed to do that. Which then caused a new problem. Um, and the new problem was, we've already applied the decal to one door. So the door they're going to send 
which now has a decal applied, unless the decal is applied in exactly the same place as the one you've already done, it's not going to match. Um, so they sent the rear door um, that I received that had the decal on it, and the decal was completely on the piss. It was, it was completely, if it's supposed to be like this, it was like this. So we've had to strip the door, clean the door, source a new decal to replace it, and um, sometimes it's better the devil you know, to be honest. It's really not that hard to apply your own decal. It's a pain in the ass to have to strip a decal, buy another one and apply it. I would have preferred they just stayed like this. So uh, what I'm going to do is when the door turns up with the, the driver's door turns up, which inevitably is going to have the decal wrong, I'm going to strip that one off. I'm going to use this one um, to apply to the, the new door. And then I've got to source a decal for the rear door. I sourced one. I hate it. So I've got to get a, um, I've got to get a new one for it. Um, fortunately, there's a whole community of modders. There's uh, might lay mods and uh, part work upgrades and uh, model mods. There's a whole bunch that do lot mods for these things. We're building it stock, but we need to change the um, we need to change the decal. So that's kind of the way it is. So what I'll do is I'll bring the model up and I will show you the cat catastrophe uh, that Ecto has caused and how we're going to repair it. Okay, so here is the model as it currently stands. Uh, waiting for the doors. Now what he actually did, as you can see here, uh, his big fat ass destroyed the wing screen. Um, <laughs> and rather annoyingly, the uh, the bonnet was actually scratched, but um, it's not scratches. It turns out that what I thought were scratches were actually dirty ass paw marks all over the bonnet, which I've just cleaned up, so I don't actually need to replace the bonnet. So I've got a spare, but you know, <laughs> I've got a spare now. Um, the other thing he did, the little darling, was um, this was the headlight wire. You can see he chewed straight through that. Now I probably could have repaired this, um, but I don't want to. I mean, I could just buy a new one, so I've got a new one to, to replace instead because uh, it's costing us a lot of money. I want it as nice as it can be. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take this wing mirror, uh, windscreen out. Uh, and we're going to replace that for a new one. And um, we've got to switch the wires, uh, swap the wires in the uh, the front here. So these wires need to be taken. We need to take this off, take the wires out, put new wires in. And then once it's done, it's done, and we'll be ready for when the parts turn up, and we can build the um, build the entire thing, right up to issue one hundred and six. So we'll crack on. I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so uh, we have fitted a new windshield. I had to take that one out. Just put one in now. You'll see this stuff on it here. That's uh, the protective film that comes uh, in the pack. I've left it on because if that cat's going to do this again, um, I'd rather have access to it. But you can kind of see how big this thing is. I mean, there's my hand and I am a giant of a man. Um, it is a very, very big vehicle. This is the the wire I've just had to replace. So that's wire zero. Uh, we go into the the headlights there. And there, um, I've got to tidy these up. There's a wire tidy just tucked underneath here that these clip into. So that's got to happen, but it's repaired now. So when these parts turn up, we can just crack on with the full build. And um, happy days. I'm very happy I don't have to replace the hood. I'm annoyed I've had to buy a hood, <laughs> but that's my fault for not checking that it wasn't a scratch. It was just his dirty ass paw prints all over it. So here is the car. Put together as much as I can put it together. As you can see, the rear panels are missing. And on the other side, if we look through the door, you'll see the other doors haven't been out yet because we're waiting for the replacement door. Um, leaving the protective film on. Got to. Found more damage the cat had caused whilst we were looking at it. It actually chewed off the, uh, the rear view uh, there. So that's had to be repaired. Um, a few other bits and pieces. You managed to tear the. Uh, the radio off the front of it, so we've had to fix that. Um, but you can see these windows are tinted. The reason why these windows are tinted, they have this black and white tint. This is, is as the 59mm was, because this was an ambulance. It's weird now to think of it in this day and age, but this genuinely was an um, This was an ambulance. So these were modesty windows, that's what they were for. Um, so they'd let in light, but you couldn't really uh, see into something horrendous that might be going in the back of somebody on a gurney. Um, they do, uh, you can open the windows a little here to 
crack the windows to let air in. Um, but these windows do all wind down. Uh, there is a little winder inside them. Let me show you the winder. There we go. There is a little winder. Um, you'll have to excuse these monstrous banjo playing hands of mine, but they will they will wind down. And wind back up. Um, it's nice. Uh, it is incredibly detailed. I mean, you can see here in the doors um, that we do have to make everything. So we make these latches here, so that's what locks the door closed. You can kind of see it better on this one because I've got all this exposed. So you can see here, it goes in, you'll see a little bump, and it closes. What well, this part is here, and there is one in the front, but again, you can't see it because it's masked up. Uh, these control the cabin lights. So there are two white lights that will go in here and here. When you open the doors, the lights come on, like a normal car. Um, I can show you some of the electrics working, actually. So all of this will be going up on the roof. Uh, so these are the kind of lights. Now they're not all on. If you just turn the standard light on, that's what comes on. If we crack the car open, uh, and we have a button here that will turn the rest of the lights on. So you'll see all of these will come on, some flash, some down. And that's what we've got going on. So yeah, these are these. Yeah, uh, we've got the the siren marking. Play that for you. There we go. So these are the next set of lights. Uh, and then we can turn the engine on. Turn that off. We can. So that's what we've got. So that's what we've got. And that's what's going on with all this. Um, <laughs> it's uh, it's a lot. It's been a lot of work. But uh, yeah, thanks to the cat, it was even more work. Uh, so this is it without the frame on top. Uh, so you can kind of see we've got all these wires that will have to be tucked in. Uh, this is where the gurney will go. The gurney holds the proton packs, which go on the back. Uh, we've got all the gubbins there and the the, uh, the flight seat we've got there will be an internal wall that goes in here that separates this part from this part uh, that's got to be coming soon because we've done with the frame but again if we turn the main console on you can see the radio lights up the dash lights up um, and then we've got show you the siren But you can see it. Shut it up. You can see the engine. Now we spent forever building that engine, and you can barely see it, but we know it's there. So we know all the work that we put into that engine, and now it all gets hidden away. We got the battery at the front. Um, it is a ridiculously, ridiculously detailed model, and you work a lot on detail that gets hidden. You never see it, but um, we know it's there. So that's pretty much it for now. That's repaired. Um, so we're ready for when it eventually turns up. We were kind of hoping it was going to turn up today. It hasn't. We're waiting for everything at the moment. But so is the way of the world. Everything is delayed. Um, so should this car on go, we've got 20 parts to build, which take us up to 110. And there are 140, I can't remember, it's either 141 or 143 parts. I think it's 143 in total. Um which means we've only got eight deliveries left after this one uh, which means we'll be finished by april uh possibly early may late april um if everything goes to plan but yeah again with the uh with the way the world is at the moment there's no guarantee these deliveries are ever going to turn up on time um it's been good so far and this is the thing with the exception of the problem with the door we've not really had any issues we've not had any broken parts touch wood and we've not um, we've not had any severe delays. There's been a couple of delays where maybe something took five or six weeks instead of four weeks to turn up. But then 
we've had some that turned up in three weeks so it's all kind of balanced out um and it's been a joy to build and i gotta be honest with you as to, as to my wife i'm not looking forward to put the last screw in it because um it's seen us through a lot it saw us through the pandemic it saw us through a redundancy um it saw us through a lockdown um my son was nine when we started building this he's 11 now he's gone from junior school to senior school and um, he'll be ending his first year senior school by the time we finish with this so it's uh it's going to be emotional i think when it comes to put it in the, the glass case and forget about it we're building other ones we've kind of got the bug now um so we're building r2d2 which you've probably seen jack doing and that's part of the joy of it i've had to i've got to spend a lot of time with my children building this and it's been great uh we've put a little note inside the car hidden almost like a time capsule so inside the uh the gearbox uh we've got a note that we wrote that put in there uh, that we all signed to show the date we built it so who knows one day somebody might crack it open and find it but it's um it's been emotional and i think it will be um i think it will be sad to see it go um but yeah i'm rambling now anyway so as soon as the um the other ones turn up i'll be back with you know whichever one of the kids or both of them ig and Uke, might both be here to help me um to help me build it and um look forward to seeing you then bye bye